Welcome to the collection update. Oh yeah, I got some very good lighting. I actually have a light here. If you remember in my old place, I had the two lights with the red lights. Well, I changed them to regular lights now. I turned that one on over there because it helps the light over here, but I want to turn that one on kind of too much right there. But we're not here to talk about lighting. We're talking about the return of the collection update. Yes, collection update. Anything that I collect, I put it all together in a video for you gangsters out there and show you what I bought. Basically, that's pretty simple. So, uh, let's get right on into this. Okay, first thing up, I only got one Blu-ray. I uh, picked this up uh, a few days ago when I went to Walmart to get my oil change. And I've been wanting it forever. And they came out with a three-pack. So, um, I picked it up. 20 bucks. It's the Purge Collection. <laughs> if I can talk, the Purge Collection. All three movies right here. You can see the cover there. I had seen the first one and I had seen the second one until I bought this. Slide it right on out there, I'll show you up. Um, but um, never seen the third one until the other day. I like the first one and I, I really like the second one, but the third one I really didn't care a whole lot for. Um, it was all right, it just wasn't the greatest, but I really liked the first two. Last video I had uh, where I went to Spookables and I did a video showing off that place. Uh, great place. Jason Scott owns it. I picked up a few VHS while I was there. One VHS. This, this is really not a whole lot of... Some of it's horror, some of it's not. But one of them is a movie that I loved and we talked about it for 10, 15, 20 minutes probably. And uh, it's one of the movies where you're, you're, you love it when you're a kid, but when you get older... It's, it, it might not hold up that good and I hadn't seen it in a while but as soon as I got it home I watched it and it has Emilio Estevez and Demi Moore in it it's called Wisdom um, yeah if you ain't never seen this this is classic it's kind of hard to find on uh, DVD so uh, he had it in there pretty cheap on VHS and I do have a combo player and I usually don't buy uh, stuff that's like uh, non-horror stuff on VHS but what the hell I picked it up and uh, I, I might start doing that every once in a while just pick up some stuff you know that might be a little rare to find on DVD or whatever uh, the other one I picked up has Emilio Estevez in it too and I never had watched it either it's called Repo Man and I actually watched this right after I watched Wisdom so I had a double shot of Emilio Estevez that night there's the back with all the green this movie was wild as hell if you ain't never seen it, I suggest you see it. And the last one, well, not next to the last one. Um, I already got this in a case because I got this on the main VHS shelf because I have the first three on VHS and I wanted part four. It's It was only two bucks there. Children of the Corn 4, The Gathering. I've never seen it. I've never even seen three yet and I've had it forever. I've seen the first two, but uh, never seen them. So there's part four. And I think there's like eight or nine of these by now. Uh, then the last one I picked up there is called Lover's Lane. I uh, don't know much about this. He said it was pretty cool. And there's the back of that one. So that's the VHS that I got from Spookables. Uh, a few days before that I met up with Metal Murph. If you... I'm knocking shit over. If you remember months and months ago... I uh, did a video, I did two different videos of stuff I bought off of him. He had some great VHS and uh, he shares the love and every once in a while hooks me up. And this is a, um, he said this is a bootleg but it looks really legit to me. And I remember people showing it off in updates and I wanted to have it just basically for the freaking cover. Because I know the movie's going to be horrible. It's called Attack of the Beast Creatures. Check that damn cover out. And it's in a clamshell. I'm a sucker for clams. So, uh, he sold me that. And, uh, I got my washer going back there. Hopefully, it won't drown up too much noise. And then, for covers, you got to get Wizard Big Boxes. These are reprints, uh, but they're great. And this one's called Breeders. Uh, it looks like some damn porno movie, but it's, it's not, I assure you. And there's the back of it. It's got this peach looking color. 
But uh, yeah, it's not original, but it is uh, reissue. But I don't give a damn. I'm gonna get it anyway. It's cheap as I got it from him. And this one right here is called Hell Train. Some sexy ladies on the front of that. But the funny thing is, look at the girls right there, and I guarantee you, they ain't the same type in the movie because the movie looks black and white on the back. So, uh, you know, this is how they sold movies back in the day. People wanted to see them. It says a train ride to terror. I've never seen it. I've never seen Breeders or Attack of the Beast Creatures. I've got a lot of movies to watch. Uh, I have some more uh, tapes that I got off of uh, Metal Murph. I won in a contest, but that'll be on a different video. I'll just show, uh, I don't want to show them all off. They're bootlegs too, made in the clamshells that he did. That's really rare movies that are very expensive to get. And I said, hell with it. I'm not paying a whole lot of money for these damn movies. I'll just go ahead and go in for the contest and I won. I won two contests here in the last few months. Doing pretty good. But this is the VHS Blu-ray haul. No, it's not. It's called the collection update. Get it right. The return of the collection update. People have been starving for this for centuries. No, not really. Maybe a few months. They've been wanting me to see, wanting me to see, wanting to see me do an update. And there you got it. I got an update for you. And my damn washer's getting loud as hell back there. So I gotta go. Till next time.